Hey guys, welcome to the third installment of Hosties Game Time with your host, Jacob. Uh, we've got Big Zaino on today, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hey guys, Zane Bidjarai, play for the Sassany Labrador's. Nice mate, um, you hungry? Always Sweet. mate, always. Alright, we'll get some menu log, because I'm starving, we had a big day today, so. What's your go-to, like, cheat day meal? Cheat day meal, that's tough. Probably he doesn't have cheat days, this bloke, have you seen him with a shirt off? No, probably um, just a, just any a snack pack. Any single ladies out there, because he is a snack. <laughs> no, nah, just a snack pack with a bit of um, barbecue garlic sauce on top. The Holy Trinity, surely? Yeah, no. Nah. You don't go the Trinity? No. Nah. <sighs> okay, that's another level down. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. That's done. Alright, let's get into it. So what team are you going with today? The Ravens, Baltimore. So you're going with the cheese team. I've stuck no. true to my true to my team, the Carolina Panthers. My boy Christian McCaffrey. Nah, my boy Lamar. Better cover it up. So Ravens your actual team? Yeah, I watch that a little bit just mainly because uh, I had a mate that got me onto Lamar and I just watched all these highlights and I just thought it was pretty impressive, yeah, yeah. Pretty entertaining. So Alright boys, big D set here. Oh, no. oh yes! <laughs> no! What a start! He's rattled! What have I done? Touchdown! I forgot the controls. <laughs> yes, baby! Oh, no. So we've been in his head. The Carolina Panthers are on the board. That's not how you want to start. So we're, we, we've we both had a bit of a mishap to start the, the season. Yeah. You've um, hurt your knee and then I have... Uh, recently done my shoulder with rehab buddies. How's the, your rehab going? Can you run us through um, how you're progressing and when we can expect to see you back? Yeah, it's going well. So I had surgery, oh, I'd be about three weeks now yep. post-surgery. So um, the surgeon said it can be up to probably eight to 10 weeks. So um, and that's coming along really well. It's feeling stronger every day. That's good. Um, it's actually been good to sort of get a bit of off-feet conditioning as well. I'm feeling pretty fit. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully around six weeks, five, six weeks. It's good, man. Back. Yeah. It's a good opportunity. Like people like obviously being injured sucks, but it's a good opportunity to get your body right. Like obviously having a big pre-season start yeah. of the year, your body's a bit bashed up, but you can get that fitness in, you can get that strength in without having to go out and just clang and bang every day, Yeah, which is good. So hundred yeah, percent. So just trying to look good at to the hear, positives, bro. man. Yeah. Run, son. You're not catching him! You're not catching Robbie Anderson, oh, baby! Good. He's gone! <laughs> That's all right. I didn't want to defend anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the ball back. So, um, Zane, where where is your like heritage? So, obviously, your last name? Um, uh, Bidjarak? Yeah, yeah, so it's Serbian. Yep. So, uh, yeah, on well, my dad's side of the family is all Serbian. Mm -hmm. um, been over there a few times to play for them. Have you? Yeah, yeah. So, so you actually went, been to Serbia? That's mad. Yeah, 2018. I went um went over there for the 19s tournament. Yep. Played for them. Um and then went back there about two years ago now for the men's for the World Cup qualifiers. Yeah. Nice. First did Greece. they did? Oh, is, did Serbia qualify for the? No, we didn't. So we uh, versed Greece. So it was um like Pete <laughs> Mamazoulis and that. And there. Did you have to verse Pete in that? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's pretty funny to verse because he's just not a friendly guy. No, I, mean, no I, was trying, I was just trying to lay to him and everything. Yeah, he's a savage. He's found another pick. Oh, oh is that touchdown? No way. Oh. What? Yes. All right, you got to get up and Let's do his dance. Go. So yeah, as yeah, you say before, go. playing against like Pete and that um, when they played for for Greece, you've sort of come through the the grades playing with with the younger fellas and now in the top 30 with you. How's that been, that journey and, and having like familiar faces with you um, coming up through the grades? Yeah, well, it's been awesome. Like, obviously, it's been a few boys I've, I've played with for a while now, Ben Lovett. Um, mm. My actual, how I first got into South, I had a trial at, I think, Canterbury Oval when Ben Lovett was actually in the trial as well and we yeah. sort of got, got someone in the same game. So Country boys. Yeah, yeah, so I've sort of always seen him around and that. Yeah, because so, you're, um, you're from Canberra originally? Yeah, well, I'm from Queen Mian. Yeah. Went to school in uh, in Canberra and that, but yeah, Queensland boy originally. So yeah, nice. Yeah, in the big, in the big smoke. In the, the big smoke, boy. mate. Yeah, <laughs> loving it, loving it. So um, you played, your, you got your first sort of taste with the with the top grade this year up in towns or in Cairns, sorry, against yep. the against the Cowboys in the trial, and you you got your you got over the the stripe. How was that yep. feeling? And obviously, how did you how was the game? Obviously, getting that first little, little taste. Yeah, well, obviously it was unreal. Like it was a good experience going up to Cairns. I've, I've never been there before. It was pretty tough in the conditions, the, the hot weather and that. Yeah, but um, especially that time of the year. Yeah, but no, it was awesome. It was awesome to get a run with the boys and obviously get a full game in and whatnot. So um, 
felt good sort of when I crossed the line and just, you know, I was a bit nervous beforehand, but once sort of the game started, I was, I was pretty sweet, yeah. so I'm not, not too much of a nervous person usually, but yeah. That's good. And then you scored a try, so did you have any try celebration in mind that you wanted to show? Nah, well, I think, I think, I, I don't think I've ever really celebrated when I've scored a try, it's just straight shake, face, shake straight hands. face changes. But um, I think I was a bit excited there and I sort of flicked the ball up a little bit and I was like, a few, few of my mates messaged you like, oh, what were you doing there? And I just, <laughs> so I don't know, it was just a heat of the moment type of thing, I guess, but yeah. You just flexed, flexed, <laughs> worked every time. No, nah, I don't think I did enough to Is there like a punishment, if you take your shirt off and flex, like you know how in, in like you play in the EPL and that, yeah. they take their shirt off, it's instant yellow card. Is there something in, in, in footy, like if you do that, you're in trouble? I don't know, I reckon they should, should surely allow, not. Eh? Surely not, let the boys out. play. 100%. Oh, I just got sacked. Because what's that? Is, it, is there a round where it's the try celebration? Yeah, yeah, try July. Yeah, That's surely nice. like a few boys getting the rig out for that. <laughs> I love how in the crowd they've got like all the same people doing the same animations. Yeah. They're just like, yes! Oh, this is look, at this, look at the rush from the left edge. Pressure's on here. Got him. Nah. Oh my! Pick. Touch him, mate. Oh. Bro, give me some swagger. I can't lose another game on my own show. I can't it's be going, oh man. man. So, you're in the, the top grade this year. Do you have any any goals for the season? Um, uh, well, obviously coming into pre-season, I just sort of wanted to smash that. Yeah. Um, get as fit as I could, and I feel like I did a good job there. Obviously, it doesn't help. A bit of a setback um, during playing 20s, mm -hmm. but um, obviously just get back to, um, oh, good start. Just getting back to being healthy again, yeah. and then um, probably the first few rounds back, just playing good footy and yeah. then seeing where it goes. Obviously, I played a, a few cup games last year and I felt pretty good doing that. I, I enjoy yeah. playing playing men, so mm. just getting to that and then just seeing where I can sort of go and just playing good footy, and then I guess the coaches will decide where it goes yeah. from there. Nice, yeah. bro. Have the coaches got you any, working on anything particular, obviously, before you got injured? <laughs> um, I think just sort of my direction off shape yeah. would be the main thing. Um, we see that's a big difference to 20s where you can just freelance a little bit and do your own thing. Yeah. Where you get to a top grade, you sort of have, have to have a bit more structure to be effective. Yeah, so the state of the game. Yeah, right? just, just my positional play and where I'm standing and the lines I'm running. The man with the plan. Man with the plan. Is there anyone at the club that you sort of look up to or you, you sort of lean on for a bit of advice in your position? Um, well, someone I probably look up to just in regards to how they train and how they conduct themselves. I think even last year when I did the pre-season, it was definitely Cam. Mm. Just, uh, just, yeah, very professional, how he goes about his business. But then uh, in regards to my position, probably probably big stretch. I think, Stretching. yeah, seeing just how he's improved through the years. The two assassins. Yeah, so that's Stretch it. is the killer and, and yeah. Zane's the Serbian assassin. Yeah, so pretty similar in that regard. Just not too many smiles, I guess. But <laughs> nah, yeah, big stretch. Probably, yeah. Oh yes, it says it's here. All right, you gotta do a little menu log dance. So when the food comes here, you gotta be like a little happy dance. This is how oh. we do it. When when the bag comes? It's here, it's here. Uh, uh, uh. This is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go, mate. Beautiful. Tuck Thank in, you. tuck in. We had a big day at training today. Our um, rehab coach, Jared, Absolutely, Lovely. towed us up on the bike today, so. No, I was on the skier. Oh, big Zaino. He was on the skier. So he's got the best workout noises. Yeah, a few moans. <laughs> so um, what, sort of, what sort of exercises they got you doing uh, for, for rehab with like a knee? For anyone that else that's out there that's got a knee problem, listen up. Um, so just at the moment, mainly trying to get some strength back in that quad. Yeah. Because obviously the surgeons opened up two sides of, um, I don't know what that bit's called, eh, but. My kneecap's one of them, and obviously I've lost a lot of strength in the quad there. Yeah. So just um, just trying to make sure I can get the range of motion, straighten in the leg, and then just regaining strength there. So that's a big thing at the moment. Eh? Like first thing, like you want to get that range back. Yeah. Yeah. So and then obviously once I get that, I could start putting a bit of load and, and weight back into the leg. So yeah. I mean they're not the biggest legs in the world. So hey, they do the job, mate. They, they do, do the, the job, job, mate. You're a bit of a movie buff, you're saying. Yeah. What's your, what's your movie? Your favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie of this year, and what TV show are you currently binging? I'm into like a lot of thrillers and science fictions. I like Interstellar, Matthew great McConaughey. Movie. Absolutely great, um, great actor. Yeah, um, even like your Inceptions, mm. DiCaprio, stuff like that. Bit of a 
Oh, everyone's a bit of a Brad Pitt fan, I guess. Well, you're sitting next to him, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, a few of my old times. Even like Back to the Future and some old ones. Like, um, the throwbacks, yes. Yeah, I love mind, the Back to the Future movies. So, um, this year, I'm trying to think of what I've seen this year. Movies. There hasn't been watching. too many movies I've been sort of wowed by this year, I think, when I've been in the movies, but. Bro, I was dead set, like, go to the movies at least once every two weeks, if not yeah. every week. I'm yeah. there like all the time. It's the it's my like my favorite thing to do if I have free time. Hobbies, what do you got for us? What do you do in your spare time? What's Big Zano do when he's not walking down the beach, taking, <laughs> taking videos? Um, and all? Nah, none of that, none of that. Um, I'm into like sort of streetwear, so I'm definitely- Streetwear? Into, yeah, so like all my Jordans and now I've got a bit of a shoe collection. Oh, what guess. ones do you have? Uh, I've got, oh, yeah, I've got a fair few ones, got some fours, got, um. Oh, it's my ball. What else do I have? Oh, one sec. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh. Yeah, just running the Jays. I've got heaps of dunks. But I, I didn't guess, know that, eh? Dunks now are just like the most basic thing. Do you just, so. do you just, like, obviously, do you just collect them or do you sell them on? Nah, I just collect them mainly. I haven't sold them on yet. I don't, yeah. I don't have them. Do you have any plans of selling or not? Not really, because it's just like a little hobby, I guess, yeah. on the side. How long have you been doing that for? Probably since like the start of this preseason, hey, yeah. because I was living um, I was living near Newtown mm -hmm. and there was a shop that I sort of was just visiting a bit and then I don't know, I feel like I bought one pair and then just you just become addicted to it. Yeah, it was probably not the best financial decision, <laughs> but Well um, it could be the best financial decision. Well actually, mate. yeah, like Bro, their value in shoes in the moment is unbelievable. Yeah, I don't know. I don't wear them too much, so I guess hopefully they hold it. I remember hold we value. um when we played up in Brisbane, we went to uh, I think it was Culture Kings. Mm. And then so you go in there to buy a pair of shoes and they literally like, so I think it was Jaya and AJ and they went in to, to have a look for shoes, like for Jordan 1s and they were like, nah, we're not, we're not going to sell them to you because they were so afraid of people like just selling them on. Yeah. And then the boys were like, well, we will wear them out of the shop if this is what you want us to do. Oh no. That's good, eh? That's so gonna... good. That's good by me. Who have you been impressed so far? Like. You were talking about stretch earlier, but like in the preseason, we'll go back to like the preseason. Obviously, that's the hardest part of the year. Yeah. Um, physically, was there anyone that really like stood out to you um, through the training, through their, maybe their leadership or or um, their work ethic? Um, someone that actually like really impressed me was probably Nighty. I think he was in rehab a fair bit, but like whenever I'd see him sort of in there, he was always just like going 100 miles per hour, like yeah. really going for it. So I think he he impressed me a fair bit, just like his determination to sort of yeah. get back out there. You um, can see in the performances he's putting yeah, in since being back. 100%. Oh, so, um, yeah, there was definitely. Oh. Fumble! Did, did he fumble? Yeah! No. <laughs> no. Um, even like Josiah. Yeah, Josiah, like, bro, he, he impressed me a lot. His fitness, man, like, I swear. I've been playing with him for ages and I swear I didn't even know he was fit until the preseason A like. Bro, I remember <laughs> I we were doing one session and I was yeah. absolutely hurting and he goes, yeah, I think I just like showing that Travis like that I'm actually hurting and I'm actually like feeling I know, tired. Man, like, and I was like, bro, are you not really tired? And I'm, I swear, I'm gone here. Every morning I'd be like, oh, how do you feel too? He's like, oh, I feel like so bad. Like I'm not, I'm not ready for training. And then he just beat everyone. Come out and yeah, and look just at, make it look easy. And run over. Just he's like, got the most lethal feet. Yeah. Like every he game maintains his power and his yeah. runs. Every game we play now, like every every team just yells like right for set. So they all just must have been doing there, the yeah. video on him. Yeah, bro. But, <laughs> but you have to, bro. Good. Like yeah, yeah. You gotta be ready for that stuff. Like people don't realize how important like pre preparation for that kind of stuff throughout the week. Yeah. On like how much opponents. goes into it, hey, bro. It's so much. Um, that's that's awful oh, for me. What a dick. Yeah, hundred percent. Eh? It's a little, just a little one percent. they got to get you, try and get you that, um, the leg up. Eh? Yeah. Did you? Um, so, did you hear about the the rumor that round one next year could be with? So it's us and Manly. Yeah. Manly someone, someone was talking to me about that. Yes. That'd be, that'd be honestly. What? What's he doing? What is doing? <laughs> the game glitching out. <laughs> bro, they don't want me to win. They don't want me to win. Um, bro, I need to get off and run. He just fell back down. Um. Yeah, bro. I reckon that'd be so sick to go over there and play in America. I reckon it'd be big for the game too. Yeah, it'd be awesome, hey. Yeah, one of the, someone was telling me about that. I didn't hear, hear about it until sort of just recently. Yeah. I was like, that'd be so, like, that'd just be an awesome experience. It would be, it'd be insane. Yeah, what do you think the, the crowds would be like there? Do you reckon they get around it? Remember they played, I remember England, 
He's won. Oh. His clock management has not been there. And oh, I've taken, taken the dub. I'm two and one now on my own show. Let's go. Distract them with the conversation and they can't maintain the game. I was full <laughs> in driver's seat there too. <laughs> you would have marched me down the field. But yeah, I remember, so they took, um, I think it was a game over in Denver between England and New Zealand a couple of years ago. And then it was the place where it's like the air is thinner at the stadium, the, the Mile High Stadium or something like that. Because Tommy played in that game and then um, of course I was at the Dragons at the time. Um, James Graham came back and he was like, for the first five minutes or the first 10 minutes, sweet. And then as soon as like your body is just begging for oxygen, like oh, really? the altitude up there. Yeah, different. And they were like, it's like a different hurt on the field. Like the boys were struggling. It was hot in the sun. Yeah. And like, cause that's a place like the high altitude. That's a place where like all the records for like the longest field goal well, it was there. I don't know if it's- Yeah, anymore. yeah. Like cause the altitude, Even like, the just left the ball like, fly. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. I didn't think of that, hey. Bro, it's like, I'd love yeah. to go over there and play a game. I can be so sick. But I've just tagged you up on the game. Um, it was never a doubt. Another win, 21-14. Great game, mate. Good game, mate. It was good to have you on the show, game. mate. Uh, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having Appreciate me. You. Good luck with the rehab, and um, hopefully get to see you out in, um, in first grade soon, bro. That'd be, that'd be massive for you. Cheers, brother. Yeah, it'd be good.